Here we are today at the 20th anniversary Hemp Fest. It gives me great pleasure to introduce to you somebody who is a champion of freedom, a champion of liberty, and a champion of justice. Somebody who gets it. Somebody who says, you know what? Otherwise law-abiding Americans shouldn't go to jail for marijuana. He is our own Seattle City Attorney. His name is Pete Holmes. Give him an incredible amount of respect. He's here to talk to you. Happy 20th birthday, Hempfest. What a great institution. Hey, John. Hey, it's me. The regeneration. If, if, you're from, if you're from Seattle, say hi to everybody who's from out of state. Welcome to Seattle. I'm Pete Holmes. Vivian, thanks for the kind words. I'm your city attorney. I want to tell you a couple of things that I learned when I came to office. Seattle gets it. Seattle understands. Seattle is very smart. And yet we couldn't explain why when I took office of the marijuana possession charges that were in the hopper, ready to go, why were 59%, nearly 60% of them, against African Americans? This city has a population 8% African American and 59% of our marijuana possession arrests when I took office January 1, 2010 were against African Americans. We know that the war on drugs is a failure and we know that Seattle voters recognize this and want to make a difference. And Hemp Fest is where we're getting the message out. So thank you all for being here. We have, we have this year, signatures are being gathered for new initiatives. There's at least two going now. One that I'm sponsoring, 502, is to legalize, regulate, and tax for adult recreational use. It, it deals with all of the issues that we're all confronting here. But in my office, we're working every day. We're not going to prosecute simple possession. And we're going to work to make sure that until it's legalized for everyone, that we found a way for sick people to get the medicine they need. There's good in the neighborhood. We've worked, we've worked really hard. And the good news is, guys, a legislature this year with Republicans and Democrats passed a comprehensive medical marijuana bill. We almost got there. The governor made a mistake, vetoed a lot of it. But don't let that, don't let that, we're gonna be back in the legislature again, don't let that over, overshadow the fact that a bipartisan legislature passed a great bill to get medical marijuana out. There's we're good work, in the neighborhood. We're gonna work on all fronts to make sure that ultimately adult recreational use is legal. And we're going to do that by making sure we, we work together, that we marijuana reformers are going to all work together. Remember, we're trying to get to the same place. If you see two petitions, sign two petitions. Sign 505, sign 502. Let's move forward together. Let's work together. We're looking for the same goal. In the meantime, my office is going to continue to work to make sure that we have sane and rational prosecutions. We're not prosecuting these cases, and we're going to work to make sure that we change the law in the meantime. Thank you. So be safe, be safe, be good to each other, and remember, we're all working together for the same purpose. Thanks, everybody. The greatest city attorney in the world, as far as I'm concerned, Seattle City Attorney Pete Holmes. Did you hear that? He's not prosecuting for possession of marijuana in the city of Seattle. Did you hear that?